Hello friends. The important factor of mathematics is observe the patterns around us and generalize them into formula. We see many patterns in our nature. We do create patterns around us. Now we shall see some of the patterns in the nature. You can see this flower. The petals are small in length in the center as they go like this they become bigger. You can see and you can appreciate the nature of the pattern. Now you can see this pattern and you can appreciate how it is being made. Now we will see the inner part of a shell. In this one the arc, the length of the arc is increased like this and you can see many patterns around us. Now we will see some of the number patterns. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Here the first it is started from the 1 and increased by 1 each other. The difference between the each of the term is 1. So we know that it is the pattern of natural numbers. Now we go for the second pattern. It started from the 1, it increased by 7 and further increased by 7. If you see that the difference between each of the term is 7. So we can call it as common difference. So here the first term is 1 and the common difference is 7. You can observe this pattern in our calendar. If the Sunday falls on 1st, the sec next second Sunday comes on 8th and the next Sunday comes on 15th and so on. Now we see the third pattern. Here it started from the 100 means the first term is 100, the second term is 90 means it is reducing. So minus 10 is added to the first term and it is further decreased. So the common difference is minus 10. Now we come for the next pattern. It is started from the 0, now the second term is minus 2 and third term is minus 4. So we can say that the common difference is minus 2. So then like this, this pattern runs. Now we will see the third term. It started from the minus 5 and it is became minus 2 means plus 3 is added and further it became 1 means once again the 3 is added. So common difference is 3. Friends, if, if we take this series and if I want to find out the 100th term of this series, can we do? Yes, we can do by adding 3 to each of the term but it takes a longer time. So we feel that we need to have a formula for that one. So friends, Today we shall perform an activity to find the nth term of the series of arithmetic progression. So for that the material required are charts, paper strips like this and a marker and a ruler. Right now we take this as A as a first term. So now in the first term we call it as A1 we represent with this strip and we denote it by A. So the first term is A. Now we take second term as A and the common difference the increment that we take it as D. So we add D to this one then it will be A plus D. The third term will add D to the second term. The second term is A plus D and to this we add one more D. Then it became A plus 2D. For the fourth term we add D to the third term. We already have here third term as A plus 2D. Now we will add one more D. So this is the fourth term. So the fourth term is A plus 3D. Now we find the fifth term. So fifth term means adding D to the fourth term. So fourth term is A plus 3D and adding one more D. So this is a plus 4D. Friends, what we have observed here? In the first term, it is just A. 
this we can write it as a plus 1 minus 1 into d since 1 minus 1 is 0 this will be equal to this. In second term we can write it as a plus 2 minus 1 into d. So, second term we got 2 minus 1 into d. So, in third term this we can write it as a plus 3 minus 1 into d. Yes, we can write this as a plus 4 minus 1 into d and the fifth term will be a plus 5 minus 1 into d. So, friends if can we write the sixth term? Yes, it will be a plus 6 minus 1 into d. If you observe this pattern, we can find the formula for nth term. Yes, what will be the nth term for this series? Yes, that is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, friends, we got the formula to find out the nth term of the arithmetic progression. If we take a as a first term and the d is the common difference, then the nth term a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. By taking a in different numbers and d the common difference of different number and you can explore it for the any nth term. Hope you have understood. Thank you.